Mr. Sawyer. You are the very first family we have had in the residential section of the Pearl. After your security assessment, what do you think of the building? The Pearl is the most advanced super tall structure in the world. It's a breathtaking achievement. But? No one really knows what would happen if things go wrong. Because you are known for your muscles. I am. But in this film, it was so much in the eyes. And I know you talked about this. That's right. A little bit, like when you go on the crane jump, mm -hmm. that there's that decision that you make. But there's right. also an opening shot when they show something horrible happens and they show a close-up of your eyes. Correct. So I wanted to give you a couple scenarios. OK. And you can just maybe camera give me the eyes. So oh, yes. Scenario. Yes. All right. I got this one. I'm sure you do. It's been three weeks since you've had your cheap pancakes on Sunday, and they're sitting right in front of you. It's been a month since you've been at the gym, and you see iron. <laughs> you're running the crane. You're doing it, you're doing it, now you're not gonna do it. You're stopping. You show up on set, and you have a three-page monologue. <laughs> <laughs> creative or cool thing you you would think to use duct tape for? I've done like some art projects with oh. my son. Oh, yeah, that's with perfect. Duct tape. Yeah, it helps. You get asked to do some crazy things in preschool. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what it used to be, right? It's, well, it's hard. So this was your first movie, right? Yes. yes. Was it your first movie yes. too? Uh, Thank you. Major. You guys killed it. I'm asking everybody in the cast, what is the most cool or creative thing that you would do with duct tape? Maybe. Mm. I've actually created a rope with duct tape at my house. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe make a rope <laughs> to get I out tried of a burning building. From upstairs to downstairs. <laughs> what do you do? Like, are you going to be the next Spider Man? <laughs> yeah. Is that duct your good thing? Okay. <laughs> Would that be your goal? I mean, yeah. You yeah. Just yeah. Move you like, tape Spider Man. <laughs> is known to do is one eyebrow raise. Mm -hmm. Can you, oh, you just did it. I did. Yeah, to ask I, you. I have a. <laughs> All right. That is awesome. I'm actually uh, MB Dexter's eyebrow one. <laughs> I think you're gonna give him a run for his it's money. It's pretty good too, right? Yeah, yeah. I think you should start trademarking that. Yeah, I know. I'm rock. very talented. You know, The Rock is known to do a one eyebrow raise. Uh -huh. Can you guys do it? He can. <gasps> Show the camera. Show the camera. Can you wiggle your eyebrows? Can you make your glasses move? That's so cool. Oh the fact that he plays, that Dwayne plays an amputee in this film, why do you think that was important? Because he's just a regular guy. You know, it's a regular guy with um, uh, a certain disability which is a lot of us, we all have certain disabilities, you know, and to overcome incredible odds to save his family. Um, you know, that's what movies are for. We often see DJ, well, most often see DJ in films where, you know, he's just the hero and obviously, look at him, he's gonna, he can do anything. He looks like he can do anything, you know what I mean? So I think having him play an amputee allows him a vulnerability that we might not expect from him. Um, and he really pulled it out. Like he, he, there's another level. I think he's great. I think he's hilarious. I think he's very talented, but there's like another level of acting in this film. <laughs> You know, we, we live in a time where the, there is a great uh, identification and love for superheroes uh, and larger-than-life characters. So true. And I think that, you know, we, we just wanted to get real and, 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 and bring it, you know, back to the everyday man and uh, someone with that kind of uh, challenge and with the prosthetic leg, which he uses uh, very in ingeniously in the film <laughs> as well. You know, I think bringing that, you know, keeping it real, bringing that back, you know, down to earth, that's how we want to connect with the audience, you know? Well, I mean, I think uh, Skyscraper shows Dwayne uh, in a way that nobody's ever seen him before. And that's not just about 
uh, the, the missing leg that he plays an amputee, um, it's a vulnerability all the way through. And, and what you opened with um, asking about his eyes, that's everything. Yeah. And uh, I'm so proud of Dwayne's performance and, and audiences who've seen it just <laughs> keep you. saying it's the best thing he's ever done. Um, and uh, he, you know, he's not invulnerable, he's not a superhero. He's a, he's a man trying to save his family and he struggles and it's bloody and broken and he barely survives the whole way. And it's, uh, it's something I can't wait for people to see because they've never seen The Rock like this. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I only meant this much of it, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys love riff riffing each other, don't you? Um, it's so easy with him. Is it? Yeah, look at the guy. He's a joke. Uh, why'd you say it like that? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. You're like a cartoon. Come on. You're like a big, smiley cartoon. <laughs> See? Look at that. Right there. I don't know if that was a real laugh. I don't know. <laughs> what, this that, one? No, yeah. that laugh is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk, talk about this later. <laughs> We're going to talk about this when the cameras are off. That's what that laugh is.